Hey guys, welcome back. This is Jerry Garage. I'm Davis and this is Tristan. Today, we're going to work on pulling the motor and transmission off of the subframe here in preparation to put this 3800 motor in place. So if you guys are new to the channel, we are 3800 swapping my 1986 uh, Fiero GT. We're gonna be turbocharging it. It's gonna get a Holley Terminator. It's gonna get a five-speed manual swap on it. So we just in the last video pulled this thing out, the full subframe, if you wanna check that out. It was, uh, it was quite a process. We'd never done it on a Fiero before. We did on his Camaro previously. Very different though, very different. Yep, so now we're at the point where we can start kind of putting everything together. So what we're going to do here is we're going to disconnect the exhaust on this thing. As you can see, it's uh, crazy. The previous owner wrapped it with fiberglass <laughs> wrap, which is gonna be great to handle. Don't do that. But Don't yeah, we're, we're basically going to be tearing off the exhaust, undoing the motor mounts. We have to undo the axles, which are, we're gonna leak fluid. I didn't, we didn't actually leak or drain any of the transmission fluid or motor oil out of this thing, so. Yep, that's gonna be the new owners of whoever buys this crap. Yeah. So we'll be definitely draining some of that onto our floor, guaranteed, but we got some super clean right here. We got that floor absorber. Yep, and that fixes everything. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started here. All right, guys, we're gonna unbolt this exhaust manifold. All right, first one. Oh, that came out so nice, dude. What? Also, I didn't, I didn't turn up the power. <laughs> yeah, let me turn it up. Intentionally trying to snap. Let me turn it up. <laughs> oh, the wrap? Is yeah, the, the wrap wrap's or is in the, the way. Exhaust? You might need to get a wrench on that bitch. No, just grab a hammer. Wait, is that a bigger? It's a nut? bigger. That's a bigger head. It's a bigger bolt. What the f That yeah. one is too. Oh my God. I, look at this. I barely grazed. And it's just falling apart. Oh, oh, don't breathe that. That's cancer. Don't breathe this. Hey, Tristan, is that carcinogenic? Um, not like the titanium dioxide in Skittles. I, I can, I can feel the fiberglass God. through my glove already. <laughs> like the, I'm sorry. No. Yeah, it's a work shoe. <laughs> I like that. was so dumb. Not only was that, like, seemingly incredibly rusty, but I couldn't even get the socket on there. It was at an angle and it still came out. Just doing that, turning it, <laughs> turning the, the head of the bolt, it came out so easily. You were giving the bolt a little tickle with the, the socket. the hell did this come out? What the f Like I said, it, it literally just, uh, it just works, you know? On my Tahoe's engine? Magic. Like, no, I don't know how engine, I'll get that one. That snapped, just like looking at it. And these are somehow actually coming out. Oh, there's a nut on that side. God damn it. 15. No, it probably is a 13. So anyways, I started blasting. <laughs> so anyway, I started hitting her with PB blaster. Well, no, it's not even a 13. It's not a 14. It's going to be like one of the 9 16ths or something. American. God damn. You would just pray. I can't believe none of them are breaking. They're Seriously. so rusty. All right. So these are 10 mils, what the f And he's doing it, he's Tristan, blasting Tristan, give me a 10 mil. It. He's blasting it with the f impact too. Like, I thought for sure he'd break them. Why are there 10 mils on the side? 13s and 14, or Ooh, yeah. the 10s are gonna bust. That one's not good. That one, oh, we got one. We no, need, oh, we need maximum ugga dugga. Yeah, it's on maximum right now. The f hot swapping between different fucking. It's so acid. <laughs> that one wasn't tight at all. What? It fell out. Yep. What the f You guys took this for test drives? Oh, oh dude, yeah. a lot. <laughs> that one broke. It didn't break. None of them were breaking. Oh, wait, that one didn't break? No. That one's one really short. None of them were broken. Wait, the first one you took literally didn't break? It no. Was that small of a bolt? Yes. No, it was a 13 mil still. It just didn't break. They look really short. Yeah, it was short. These aren't. Tristan, you realize these aren't all the correct bolts. They just grabbed them. Oh, I, I, I know that. I, I knew that. <laughs> Damn. Broken clock is right twice a day. I'm saying. All right, now for the, the top two. So if these don't break, then god dang. Well, you still got a few more. No, this is it. That so, one was loose as hell, dude. Well, if you All take right, any of these is. joints off. No, we're not. We don't need to. You don't have to. Oh. Oh yeah. No bo broken bolts. Look at that shit oh. right there. That is. It's what so loose. the fuck? Look at that. Hell yeah. New O2 sensor, though. <laughs> Wait, this is... What, what the, the hell? Fuck? There's a gasket in between it. Heat shield? 
There's a heat shield, then a gas, but there's no gasket. Wait, against... wait. What the f Did they look at this? I think it, I think it was replaced and they did it wrong. They put the, the heat shield up against it and then they put the gasket up the heat shield. That's what the f are you supposed to? I can't imagine you're supposed to do that. So guys, yeah, this clearly was owned by a crackhead. Well, no, actually, and now it's newly owned by a crackhead. I do crack guys. Looking at it, it looks like it was meant to be there. Cause like, look, it's it's perfect where the bolt holes. I think it's meant to do. I that. think maybe double gasket. I think you're supposed to have gasket on this side and the gasket on that side. But I've never seen a heat shield go in between a manifold and the engine. Before. I couldn't tell you. I mean, As you can see, guys, the person who built this engine at the GM factory was also a crackhead. So now we just need to get this out of here. Yeah, get that hanger off, too. Yeah. Or bust it. It looks like it's going to break. This is probably the point where we're going to need to cut something. All right, guys, we're back. We just had to play some Chinese chairs with the uh, floor jacks. You know, a lot of arguing for people in here. Just discussion. Yeah, discussion, <laughs> constructive. I think this was the best scenario here, how we did it. You know, it's peeing a little bit, but what we did is we got a floor jack in between here to lift up the frame right there. Got our other floor jack to lift up this frame. We lifted it up off the dolly. That also allowed us to get the cherry picker under the subframe. Connected to the exhaust bolts and started lifting. So we already disconnected this transmission mount. This was new and it literally just broke off. It didn't even matter. Like I didn't even need to unbolt this. This probably just would have broken off with it. The other side is off. So just caught in the lip a little bit. So we'll just grab that. And then as you can see, this motor mount is disconnected. So we're going to drain the oil on the transmission, the engine, and then we're going to pull the axles out. We'll still probably get some fluid on the ground, but you know, it's a jury rig garage, you know. Heavy. Yes. Yeah, like Look, Ben is handling it. it like a champ. Well, dude, he's he's a strong boy. There, there Actually, I'm interested in just saying Trish yeah. this. <laughs> There's something in the way. All right, we're gonna now be storing this. Oh no! Here, don't oh, hit, no! Don't hit that. Oh no! Yeah, he's gonna immediately get it stuck. Lord, we coming. Oh Jesus! I didn't push that close to my car. Oh, I'm gonna fucking hit it. Here, I'm wait. Gonna, I'm gonna total your yeah. Thing. We're good. I'm gonna total your oh, shit. God. Oh, God. oh God! Oh God! I'm gonna total your oh, shit. Yeah. This is this is some live action. Say that again. This some, is some live action. Oh, oh, no, dude. We do not want to go in there. Oh God! Here. I'm gonna need to put the camera down here. This is a two. This is a two man job. Oh, your corner. Get your corner. Get your corner. Get your...
he really wants his weight. It really does. Probably the angle. Clear spot. Yep. Oh, oh God. I just want to take any photos of it. Jeepers. All right. And there it is. Final resting space until someone picks it up. All right, guys. This, we're going to Flintstone swap the fucking Fiero so here. So greasy and nasty. <laughs> and we're good doing this. Yeah. <laughs> Twisted metal character. <laughs> yeah, guys, there it is. Got the motor and transmission off there. Probably in total like 30 minutes of work, but it did take us hours because, you know, there's a lot of people here. <laughs> it does go that way. True, true, true. You know? But uh, that's kind of the only goal that we had today. Tristan and I did go to the pick and pull earlier to try to find some clutch adapter I need for the slot, but we were unable to do that. So we pretty much only have one other goal today was to pull the motor off here so remember if you go to a junkyard stuff is many things in your pocket there's a lot of free you treats you can get you little, know little trinkets just get, collect as much as will fit in your pocket we went up to can. the checkout we we're like we didn't get anything bro and he's and like, like you're good you know, and then i just walk out with candy i walk out with snacks i walk out with you know fuses. all the electronic relays yeah, and you know things that would cost money but they're free if you just stuff them in your pocket you yeah just do that now that we have the motor cleared off of this, transmission, all that, we can start with swapping the motor on here. So a couple more things need to happen on this. I do need to do some final things on the fuel rails, I think, finish up the intake, porting that. I need to swap the oil pan on here for one that has a uh, oil return. I mean, this already has an oil return on it, but this is a Camaro uh, oil pan and I want to weld it on. We have the new mount here. So this will be the motor mount, which will replace that guy right there. It'll just sit right there, just like that. And as for the transmission mounts, I'm either gonna buy some or I'll build them myself. I've done some research online and it seems that not a lot of the transmission ones for the F23 fit very well. Uh, so I'm going to probably just end up making my own because it'll be cheaper and I know it'll fit right. I don't have to waste hundreds of dollars and modify it. You right. Know? Yeah, you definitely need to pressure wash this thing next time. Yeah. We should, next weekend, we should do that. Uh, I just touched it and it's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, well, the... the uh, Oh, my nice new control arms I painted, they're all covered in grime now. So we will just need to power wash all this oh, off. Oh yeah, and also look inside the frame, it's just filled. Yeah, I'm sure every crevice is just filled with grime and old stuff. I actually see a couple bolts and nuts just hanging around there. I'm gonna do some research and see if there's any way I can reinforce this subframe because it's gonna be taking a lot more power here. But everything else is rebuilt, you know, the whole suspension, the brakes, wheel hubs, all that. Uh, there was a casualty with the axle. Your motor mount? Oh. Yeah, yeah. The motor mounts just these were new and they just disintegrated. Yep. I don't know so how that's possible. Also, I this mean, this week... this wouldn't work with the swap anyways. Oh yeah. Okay. So, so I, I'll be replacing them anyways. Great time to replace all your bushings too. Yeah, I have the solid aluminum ones here. Let me go grab those. Yeah. So you got solid Ooh. aluminum ones. So yeah. this wow. one. You basically just take these ones out. I think you could knock this out with a hammer. He's gonna attempt <laughs> to do it right now. Live action. It's moving. Going up. Oh yeah. Let's knock something off, whatever. You fuck. Damn. There we go. Oh shit. And oh. Then, oh shit. And then Is we that just. that easy? Yep. Then we get this guy up. What? Through here. And you put the top one on, and then there's just like a set screw that. Yeah, it goes in. You just have to. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Oh, there's and there's a set screw the side right here? Yeah. Oh, it probably goes on the flat side. Yep. And that's that will see pretty, that in. That's pretty dope. I so, love that. I don't want to get this all dirty. But that is how it goes, or maybe it goes in this way. I think maybe it goes in that way. I'll just need to double check the instructions. As but as very nice screw. billet aluminum piece. Where'd you buy that at? Oh, you know, Rodney Dickman. Oh, Rodney the, Dickman. The man. Oh, the man. Gonna be fear Raj. No, Rodney Dickman. That guy's got everything. He does. He's and, got in one big package, you know? And then this is the other side here. So these ones. You just burn these out, just put a torch on it and knock them out, and then you have solid yeah. aluminum You want to inhale as many gases coming off that as you can. Yep. That helps with the, the install layer. Yeah, really <coughs> out your lungs. It really seals in the flavor. <laughs> yeah, unfortunate news about Rodney Dickman, though. I did read that he is like, I'm retiring. He's not going to make anything new. So his stock is like 
that's it. He's not making anything new. Yeah, and also his porn career is done. Yep. Rodney Dickman, the porn star, Rodney Dickman, the Fiero expert, you know. There's yeah. a lot of crossover between those, you know, right. those worlds. <laughs> the I legend, see. the legend is about to die. Yep. Sad. So, I got as much as I could. I mean, I think I still need to buy a couple more things for him. I think I need to buy... You better buy it quick! Uh, I know, it's, it's, it's all that's left. <laughs> you I, better bring it by now! I think the, the Fiero store also has what I need, maybe. But there's there's some things Dude, I should probably take advantage of. Dickman, though. You yeah, gotta... for sure. So, this is going to get power washed, cleaned. I'm going to repaint it, get new mounts, reinforce it, if at all possible, get the new bushings in, and then finish up on some of the stuff on the motor itself, build the transmission mounts. I might already mention that. And this will actually be ready to be put into the car, and then we can work on wiring up the holly, doing the exhaust, which actually might build the exhaust when it's out on here, kind of like what I did with Project F. I'll be able to mock up a turbo kit outside of the car first. But that's kind of nope. guessing, you know. We did that with Project F, put it in, and it ended up fitting, but I don't know if it'll fit, you know. Build it here and then put it in there, not might not fit. I mean, if you're smart enough, or if you're, if you're smart about it, it definitely will, because you can kind of, like, gauge where it's going to yeah. fit in there. Um, you're not going to just, like, blindly build it, you know? Yeah. Also, I have the transmission mounted, and I'll yeah. be aware of where the cables are going to be. So I do want to, you know, maybe put the turbo somewhere around here. I don't want it too far back. I, I just want, you know, it's going to be a big single turbo eventually, so I need to be smart where I place it. Sure, you are going to need to do that. I don't think you'll have any problem with the routing of the manifolds, though. Yeah, yeah, that'll be the easy part. All right, guys, well, that will do it. We just, you know, did pretty much everything we needed to do today. Next couple videos, we'll be just kind of mocking up stuff on the motor, I think. I'm going to be working on that, getting it ready to be put on there. Yep. Um, we'll probably mount the transmission to it for mock-up. I'm assuming we're going to be putting the motor on and off again multiple times, trying to get the transmission mounts built. So we will need to build those. That'll be fun. Might break out the MIG welder, or I might just have to use the ta or the, the TIG. TIG welder. We'll see. But uh, if you want to support us, join us as a member down below. Subscribe, comment. If you guessed how many bolts we were going to break off removing the exhaust, and you guessed zero, I'll just give you the drivetrain. Totally legit. I'll That's definitely serious. do that. I'll I'll honor it for just sure. Just email Jerry Rig Garage. Just be like, hey, I guess zero. Email. Yep. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.